I really do have a passion for training others. I really want other people to see the beauty of God in the gospel. I really want see people to see the beauty of Jesus Christ in the scriptures. My name is Michael Heitland and I'm the director of Equipping Saints for Ministry. Equipping Saints for Ministry is an interdenominational ministry focused on providing critical theological training to pastors and lay leaders in developing nations. Our primary vehicle for training is theological training conferences that take place amongst Nepali leadership, lay leaders, pastors, future leaders, uh, within their context through translators. A typical training conference will have between 30 and 40 people. It'll be a mixed group of people, sometimes uh, youth as young as 16 or 17, as well as older pastors that have been uh, working in their local church for sometimes 20 or 30 years. And so it's a, it's a pretty broad spectrum of, of people coming to these training conferences. And they take place over four to five days. We cover topics like Christology, that is uh, the person of Christ, the work of Christ, and the Trinity. Bible Doctrine, Old Testament Survey, New Testament Survey, Homiletics or Biblical Preaching, as well as some other topics including leadership and uh, the Christian family. And so these conferences help to equip them and prepare them to teach and really raise up leaders from within their own church. During one of our first training conferences here in Nepal, we came across a very young man named Monas. And Monas had been an orphan in the orphanage that is uh, tied to Sara Church. Uh, he'd been raised up within that orphanage and he is now, uh, he's now actually a young leader over that orphanage. And We were surprised that after uh, receiving his training on the Old Testament 100 Steps that uh, just a few days later he was already at the orphanage training even, even the young children with uh, a, a thorough knowledge of this Old Testament survey. So we're excited about leaders like Monas who are quite young by Western standards but will one day grow to be the future theological leaders in Nepal. My name is Mona. I'm a senior children's body. I'm a senior 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 body. I'm a बायल वादर में दे रहे हैं साथ आप बोलेगा सर जो मले तालिम सोगा है तो इस पर जैसे मला आनी जो आप लोग मात्र स्थिति के रस्मित रहने तो और लापने स्थिति करने पर सामने तो बीत रहा बोलते हो आए तो इसे कारण है मनी मले से यहाँ है रा डिलार नवरी करना है पहले यहाँ है रा चल वो मैं सिखाए अनि त्यां बड़े से नन्हे अल्लाह पनी त्यां बड़ा बायल आदर में पिन करा मचे त्यां बड़ा स्वाय पुक्त सावनी मले त्यो था बे कारण है मचे त्यो था और लापने नहीं सिखाए our national partners are actually the ones responsible for finding the trainees or the students that we will bring through our pastoral training conferences. We'll come over and we'll do a three or four day pastoral training conference, but our partner is responsible for the follow-up and for the continued training. So when we came to Nepal and developed a partnership with Tej Roka and his brother Karna and Sara Church, we were surprised by the intensity at which they preach, the orthodoxy which they hold, and their genuine heart's desire to see the kingdom of Nepal become a Christian nation. We really early on uh, kind of resisted the idea of having a brick and mortar building in the places that we, that we do training in. But as we started working with Sara Church, we recognized a unique opportunity with the New Missionary Bible School an opportunity to bring in, say, 20 or 25 uh, students and then train them uh, intensely over six to nine months and equip them with the ability to then go back out to their villages, their remote parts of Nepal, and plant churches and preach the gospel and equip others and make disciples. As we continue to expand our work here in Nepal, we're looking for churches and individuals who want to take an active role in equipping the church in Nepal. We don't require people to have a theological degree. We're in fact able to provide that training on the front end of our short-term missions. We're looking for people to come on mission with us and expand the kingdom of God here in Nepal. ESFRAM and Sara Church's vision is to provide theological training to 100 leaders who will then go out to the far corners of Nepal and plant 100 churches over the next five years. As this growth of Christianity is exponential, we want to meet this curve with leaders who are properly trained to preach, to reach, and to teach the next generation of Christians.